we are seeing that we learn a lot about the specific treatments. So during treatment, say adalalisib or sadelic, where you need to uh, be very cautious about uh, infectious complications. So we are rapidly transferring research data into practical handling our patients and uh, trying to prevent these complications. But from my perspective, we are just the first steps on understanding how the CLL action with the microenvironment actually impairs the immune function in some patients. And I think getting much more hands on this area, better understanding both of the impact of different treatments on the microenvironment and the immune system, but also the CLL disease itself, will make it possible for us to design individual tailored treatment supportive care, say, we know from one of our studies published earlier this year that hypogamma globulinemia, lack of immunoglobulins, by itself does not identify patients who will develop infection. It actually identifies patients at greater risk of an aggressive disease but not infection. So we need other markers to identify patients who need, say, prophylactic antibiotics or immunoglobulin substitutions. So we've just taken the first small steps, but I think in the coming years we'll be able to compile together all these multitudes of different dimensions of data and build new pattern recognition uh, algorithms based, based on these data.